everybody, we're playing Elden Ring. We're going to go back to the Waypoint Ruins. I'm going to pick up some stuff that I've missed in the previous episodes. Go back and pick up these new items. We want to head southeast from Waypoint Ruins. Down to the uh, Caden Encampment. See it on top of the hill there. Now there's two spellcasters that are up high on top of those buildings. We need to knock those out first. And there's a monument down the back there. Pick up an item from there. Starlight shards. You can trade this with a character later. Take out the uh, spellcaster up here. The royal house scroll. You can give this scroll to sorceress Selen. And then over to the other building. Got the second spellcaster. Out these soldiers. Smoldering butterflies. Soldiers and undead nobles. Ooh, glowing eyes, extra XP. some Kaiden Raiders here. One's on the horseback and one other one. Okay, I'll grab this chest over here. This contains the great epi it's a heavy thrusting sword that scales with strength and dex. Oh, there's an item up there where the uh, spellcaster was. Grab the item from the caravan as well. With the giant doors. For the undead nobles. need to kill all these guys but um, I'm OP so I'm gonna do it.
Kill the Beagle Boy. Alright, there's a mounted code in here. Alright, so I want to take out one of these trolls. The carry the tops. the item from the back. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the schoolhouse classroom. I want to go and teleport across to Volcano Manor and grab some materials to upgrade my weapon. With these materials I should be able to upgrade my um, Bloodhound's Fang to be plus 6. I'm going to take this water wheel right down to the bottom. There's an iron virgin down the bottom here who will do the teleport once we get trapped inside her. First, stick and stone five we're going to need. Just avoid her. Get up on this uh, cliff face. Grab the lost ashes of war. There's one more item that we need. Run right down the back here. Grab the long tail cat talisman. We need that talisman to stop us taking full damage when we're in Volcano Manor. Okay, so we need to allow this iron virgin to capture us and suck us inside. Go check this top level here. Rooms, have your net soldier ashes, nice. Alright, so now we want to get captured. We want to stand right in front. Watch your grab you and pull you inside. And then uh, you'll get teleported. You will die, but that's okay. All part of the plan. Okay, so we get teleported to Volcano Manor. Now uh, I'm going to take off most of my gear to give myself a light load. And I'm going to put on the Long Tail Cat Talisman, which will negate full damage. The 
doesn't completely remove full damage, but it does negate it quite a lot. Take that gear off. I want to get down to a light load on the right hand side. Okay, I'm on light load now. I don't actually need the weapon, but uh, I'm taking it. Now there's a point over here somewhere where you can jump off and uh, get the right spot, you can survive the fall. <laughs> Not there then. Let's try over here. Yeah, off nice and careful. I'll take a bit of damage from the lava, but it's not too bad. And just heal through it. Okay, so I want to go up that uh, elevator there. Pass this enemy or uh, roll through, dodge him, jump onto the rooftops. Now, on this roof over here, Find the Sombra Smithing Stone 6. Definitely something we need. Okay, he's going to run away from the enemies. Roll through this enemy. And take this cage elevator here. this enemy to come towards us. Let's just run and trigger him and then pull him back. Pull him over here. Grab this item. Somber smithing stone 5. Something else we definitely need. Let him attack you and roll through. Let's activate this bridge over here. for the cutscene. Okay, let's go barefoot on this uh, hot bridge. You can see up the top there there's a shining item. This is a Sombo Smithing Stone 7. 
Now previous videos I've been watching show that you can actually jump up on this ledge by getting up on this wheel here. Positioning on the right hand side and then jumping across to this ledge. But um, there is questions whether this has been patched or not. It looks to me like it's been patched. I've had a lot of trouble getting up this uh, ledge. Actually tried it many, many times, not been able to do it. <laughs> Maybe you can do it if you get lucky. You can get the somber smithing stone seven. Gonna remove more gear, make myself a bit lighter. Yep, so I haven't been able to do it. I've tried it probably a hundred times. <laughs> See how you go, you might be able to get it. You jump in the lava and then die, and that's how you uh, get back to the start. And then we just need to go for the exit. I'm going to put my gear back on. Alright, let's head out to the exit now. Butterflies. You can fight these guys or you can just run straight past. I'm just going to run. Okay, so you need to run past these enemies. You can, you can fight them if you want. Ooh, swapped out my weapon. Anyway, let's run for the uh, side of grace. We need to activate this side of grace. And rest here. Once you've rested here, you can uh, go to the map and teleport out. So I'm going to teleport up to the uh, blacksmith up here. Smithing Master Iggy. And now I can go and upgrade my weapon. I should be able to get it up to plus six. Well, it's kind of you to speak to me again. Then I presume these old bones serve their purpose. More or less. Strength and armaments. Plus five, and then we go plus six. And that's it for the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.